Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn fatty acids. So these fatty acids are derived or precursor lipids. As the name suggests, they are fatty acids. That means they are carboxylic acids. So that means they have carboxyl group. They are carboxylic acids with hydrocarbon side chain. Hydrocarbon side chain means they contain CH2, 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 so like this. This is the definition of fatty acids. Fatty acids are carboxylic acids with hydrocarbon side chain. Their structure may be look like this. So they have carboxylic group and they have hydrocarbon side chain. This is one fatty acid. So I can write another fatty acid here. So all fatty acids have carboxylic group and they have hydrocarbon side chain. So I can write like this another fatty acids. With this example you can see all fatty acids has got carboxylic group and hydrocarbon side chain. The only difference here is the length of hydrocarbon side chain. So we can write the general structure of fatty acid as RCOOH. COOH is nothing but carboxylic acid, right? And this R refers to hydrocarbon side chain. So, in other words, all fatty acids, their general structure is same. That is RCOOH. Here R refers to hydrocarbon side chain. And these fatty acids, either they exist in our nature as ester or esterified. So they can be esterified with the alcohol, various alcohol we already studied in previous presentation or even they can esterified with cholesterol. The esterified form of fatty acids is the most common occurrence or presence of fatty acids in nature. In fact, some fatty acids are also present as free fatty acids. Even in our blood, a small amount of fatty acids are also present as free. We call them as free fatty acids. So with this introduction, now we will classify fatty acids. So fatty acids can be classified in different ways. So first, depending upon the total number of carbon atom. If fatty acids contains even number of carbon, then such fatty acids are called even chain fatty acids like 2 carbon, 4 carbon, 6 carbon or 8, 16, 12. So in fact, most of the fatty acids are even chain fatty acids. So example is formatic acid. It contains 16 carbon. So another type of fatty acid depending upon the total number of carbon is odd chain fatty acids. These are less common propionic acid. This contains 3 carbon. So another way of classifying fatty acid depending upon length of hydrocarbon side chain. So in this classification fatty acids could be classified in four different ways. The first type is short chain fatty acids. If the length of the hydrocarbon side chain is about 2 to 6 carbon then we call them as short chain fatty acids. So why we have written even number because most common fatty acids are even chain fatty acids. So example is butyric acid, a fatty acid present in butter. It contains only 4 carbon. Another type of fatty acid depending length of hydrocarbon side chain is medium chain fatty acids. Here the length of the hydrocarbon side chain is about 8 to 14 carbon. The example is lauric acid, a fatty acid present in coconut oil. It contains 12 carbon. The next type is long chain fatty acids. Here the length of hydrocarbon side chain between 16 to 22. The example is palmitic acid. It contains 16 carbon. The last type of fatty acid in this classification 
is very long chain fatty acids that means any fatty acid with a hydrocarbon side chain more than 24 carbon atom then we can call them as very long chain fatty acids the example here lignoceric acid it contains 24 carbon and this fatty acid present in peanut and also in the brain so this is with respect to the classification of fatty acid depending upon the length short chain fatty acid medium chain fatty acid long chain fatty acid very long chain fatty acid another way of classifying fatty acid this is the most important classification of fatty acids depending upon the nature of hydrocarbon side chain most important is two types saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acid so here the hydrocarbon side chain is saturated that means if there is no double bond then we call them as saturated fatty acids if there is no double bond then we call them as saturated fatty acid if the hydrocarbon side chain is unsaturated if there is double bond then we call them as unsaturated fatty acid again this unsaturated fatty acid could be two types if there is only one double bond then we call them as mono unsaturated fatty acids any fatty acid contains two or more then we call them as poly unsaturated fatty acids so these are the very important fatty acids we call them as pupa poly unsaturated fatty acids where the number of double bond is two or more here only one double bond this palmitic acid here it is actually saturated fatty acids 16 carbon okay here saturated fatty acid if you, if you want to give example you can write palmitic acid same palmitic acid if it contains double bond only one double bond then we call them it has palmitolic acid so stearic acid is a saturated fatty acid with 18 carbon atom it is a saturated fatty acid with 18 carbon but if same stearic acid it contains double bond one double bond we call it as oleic acid so the example for polyunsaturated fatty acids two or more double bond linoleic acid linolenic acid arachidonic acid so all these are poly unsaturated fatty acid for example linoleic acid contains it is same 18 carbon but it contains two double bond linolenic acid again it is 18 carbon it contains three double bond arachidonic acid is a 20 carbon fatty acid with four double bond we will study now how to number and name saturated fatty acids i have taken here a fatty acid with 16 carbon and name of the fatty acid is palmitic acid so it contains 16 carbon and in right hand side we can see there is carboxyl group so this is called carboxyl end and the carbon atom next to carboxyl end or the carbon number 2 is called alpha this is alpha carbon and carbon number 3 is called beta carbon and the last carbon is called omega carbon okay and this end the methyl group this end is called methyl end and you should know the saturated fatty acid that means there is no double bond and all saturated fatty acids they have two name one is called trivial name that is common name another one is systematic name trivial name is it is palmitic acid suppose this is a palmitic 16 carbon we call it as palmitic acid and for systematic name here it contains 16 carbon so we can write 16 as hexa so hexa means 6 then deca deca means 10 hexa decaenoic acid so this is the systematic name of name given to palmitic acid hexa decaenoic acid and you must remember all saturated fatty acids end with enoic 
all saturated fatty acids in their systematic name they end with anoic acid so i'll give another example so if a fatty acid contains 18 carbon the trivial name is stearic acid and the systematic name here it is 18 carbon so the 8 number 8 comes first here 8 means octa then 10 dec anoic acid so all saturated fatty acids ends with anoic acid a n o i c so this is naming and numbering of saturated fatty acid so in saturated fatty acid we always start numbering from the carboxyl end now we'll see how to name and number unsaturated fatty acids okay unsaturated fatty acids again they have trivial name systematic name and shorthand name we already studied the all saturated fatty acids end with anoic but all unsaturated fatty acids end with enoic and the numbering and naming of the unsaturated fatty acids is little bit different here and we can number in two different way so one is called c system the numbering or naming of the unsaturated fatty acid there are two system one is called c system and another one is called omega system or n system we will study both these system so here is a fatty acid with 18 carbon okay and this fatty acid has got double bond so we know that unsaturated fatty acid means their hydrocarbon side chain must contain double bond and name of the fatty acid here 18 carbon this is linoic acid here we can number the unsaturated fatty acid in two different way first we'll see c system c system means we start numbering from carboxy terminal end so number 1 starts from carboxyl group and number 18 is methyl group or omega n this is same that of saturated fatty acids in omega system or n system we start numbering the fatty acid from methyl end here you can see the number 1 carbon atom will be methyl group and the last carbon atom will be carboxylic group that is 18 so same fatty acid we can number in two different system c system where we start numbering from the carboxylic end or c terminal end and omega or n system we start numbering from omega n or methyl n omega carbon atom or methyl n so why we adopt two system because we have to represent double bond in two different way so first we will see c system so in c system we write c and we have 18 carbon and we then we write number of double bond here we can see there are two double bond here one and here one so we write the number of double bond is 2 and then we write delta then we write the position of double bond we write 9 comma 12 so this is the short and name of unsaturated fatty acid the so name of this fatty acid is called linoic acid so this linoic acid is a trivial name and the systematic name for this particular fatty acid is octa dec and we know that all unsaturated fatty acids ends with enoic acid and we have to there are two double bonds so octa dec di enoic acid so di stands for two here this is the systematic name and the short end name is this one c 18 two double bond delta and the position of double bond so here nine means the double bond present between carbon number 9 and carbon number 10 another 12 here means another double bond it is present between carbon number 12 and carbon number 13 so this is the c system same linoic acid we can represent in another way that is omega or n system like this here we start in numbering from the methyl end and here we write omega omega 6 here so here carbon number contains 18 carbon and omega 
here in omega system or n system we will not write the position of double bond after the first double bond after 6 7 we also see double bond between 9th and 10th carbon but we will not write the second or third or fourth double bond in omega system we write only the first double bond position here in this case we call this as omega 6 fatty acid suppose the first double bond from the methyl end is between third and fourth we call omega 3 fatty acid so here we will not consider number of double bond here omega system or n system we only mention the first double bond from the methyl end or from the omega end so linoic acid we can represent or we can name in two different system that is one is c system another one is omega system c system from the carboxy terminal end and we write number of double bond here two and also we write delta and position of double bond suppose linolenic acid it contains three double bond then we write c 18 three double bond then delta then 9 12 and 15 between 15 and 16 another double bond is there in case of linolenic acid it also made up of 18 carbon in omega system we write only the first double bond from the methyl end this is naming and numbering of unsaturated fatty acids and the systematic name for linolenic acid we can say octa deca trienoic acid because it contains three double bond so now we will see what is called essential fatty acids so essential fatty acids they are not synthesized by the body so if they are not synthesized by the body they must be supplied because they are very important fatty acid they must be supplied through our diet so usually the essential fatty acids are they are they contain two or more double bond we call them as polyunsaturated fatty acids and example is linoic acid and linolenic acid so both are essential fatty acid and they are not synthesized in our body so they must be supplied through our diet usually they are their origin is from the plants or vegetable oil and from these two fatty acids our body can synthesize a fatty acid called arachidonic acid you can see in some textbook they have mentioned linoleic acid linolenic acid and arachidonic acids all three are essential fatty acid but in fact the only linoleic and linolenic acids are essential fatty acids through these two essential fatty acids our body can synthesize arachidonic acid so from these arachidonic acid there are many important molecules or compounds are synthesized they are very very important as far as our health is concerned they are called eicosanoids again from this there are three group mainly prostaglandins thromboxanes and the last type is called leukotrienes they are all metabolic so why this essential fatty acid because our body requires all these eicosanoids the functions of essential fatty acids they are very much essential for development of brain and development of retina especially omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids they are responsible for structural integrity of cell membrane in fact in our cell membrane the fluidity of the membrane is due to presence of this fatty acid especially unsaturated fatty acids or essential fatty acids if our diet is deficient in this essential fatty acid there will be a condition called prinoderma and it is characterized by horny eruptions so in the buttock knee elbow back of the elbow or posterior part of the elbow even buttock so there will be horny tiny eruptions that is mainly due to deficiency of essential fatty acid for longer duration even this patient will be suffer from dermatitis infection of the skin 
there will be poor wound healing or delayed wound healing so this is mainly due to deficiency of essential fatty acid for a longer duration because they are very much important for synthesis of eicosanoids especially prostaglandins leukotrienes and thromboxanes and development of brain and retina and also they are part and parcel of our cell membrane especially maintenance of fluidity of the membrane so this is with respect to fatty acid structure classification and the nomenclature or naming and numbering of the fatty acids thanks for watching